Hey everybody, Custom Mike's here. We are at, uh, yeah, 867 Industrial Drive in Hollister, California at Hollister Power Sport Custom Paint and Body. Um, and we're actually here with uh, Jesse and Misa. Um, they're doing a little Sunday work. That's actually in her car and uh, Jesse's teaching her how to do things a little bit about getting her body and paint kind of uh, set up and, uh, and uh, looking beautiful. And they're blocking the roof right now. So this is a beautiful little car, little personal one right there. Love your plates, by the way. Nice little 51. It's gonna have an awesomely straight roof, right? Yep. So this is Jesse. Uh, uh, yeah, the main man behind the, all the paint and body work in this place, though. Uh huh. We're doing all the testing bikes for the uh, Power Sports Indian Motorcycle Dealership. We're all part of that. So, uh, Ray Sattel, our general manager, he keeps us pretty busy selling bikes and testing things. Yeah. So, the cool part with that, a lot of customers come in, buy a new sheep or whatever they're, you know, scout, whatever model they're looking at. And you see our custom paintwork, they want us all going off, so we do a custom paint job on them. Yeah. Uh, so, they come in, they do the paint job, and then they come back and they do the paint job with us. So, when they pick up their bike, they buy the bike, they take it apart over there, bring up the sheet metal, we custom paint it, they put it together. We work good with Corbin sheets, so we get custom sheets and they're just down the street from the dealership. And uh, so customer picks up this bike, so the one-off custom paint job in their payment, they don't steal it, so it works out really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, it seems like we've been doing a lot of bikes that way and customers are happy. And, it's a win-win-win. Yeah, so we get pretty busy with the bike. Yeah. And uh, so I have more coming in. I like to do the high end stuff. And so I've got some hot rods and cool cars coming in. And so my goal is to get that boot out so I have more space over there. Uh huh. And we're going to put a new boot on the other side of there in Curtis. And uh, that'll free me up so I have a designated spot just for the project. Yeah. And uh, that should work out well. So that's coming up pretty soon. And so we're, we're new here. We're still growing. But uh, the cool part, I'm, I'm fortunate I have good following. So. People are coming this way and, and uh, trying to accommodate us with the car. Uh, again, helping Anita Stettler right here get her car ready. And yeah. The driver, it's a good car. We're just, you know, I'm teaching her and she's a good student. And uh, <laughs> we're teaching her as we go. And, you know, it's all hands on. So she gets dirty and she's doing a really good job. And our goal is just to get the roof in primer and then we'll go to the next step. And, you know, we're just making a driver. We're not trying to make a show car or nothing. We're just cleaning it up a little bit. We call it kind of a color makeover. So that's, that's our goal. Good part she gets to learn, so she's gonna get some experience. Yeah. And uh, she's, gonna, she's gonna work out good, so it's gonna be fun. You know, we make a good team, and uh, she's a quick learner, so yeah. that helps. That's awesome. We love it when everybody gets in, totally yeah, well, into their car, you know? Being a, a true car girl, this is it right here, you know? And, uh, you know, you gotta admire that and, and respect that. And most girls, nothing wrong, most girls, you know, don't wanna do this because it's dirty. Yeah. And uh, she dives right in, I'm proud of her, and, you know, we're gonna have some fun. We're not sure what color yet. I told her when it comes, when it happens, it'll happen. We'll know. Yeah. Yeah, we keep changing and stuff. I'd say, well, let's just get it in primer, and when we, when we know it, we'll know it. Yeah. You know, I, I, I try to encourage, when I, when I had the shop in, in Newman, I try to encourage all my customers to do a couple of different color primer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just to get a feel. Sometimes we even two-tone it. And then, I don't know if you remember Glenn Stegman's Buick, the 57. 57 yeah. Yeah, we did that in, in the K200 orange one day, yeah. one day, and we went to good guys for one day. Yeah. And then people asked, what happened to that car? Yeah. <laughs> the next week we sanded it and yeah. went in another color, you yeah, know. No, I've done that, this, this plane, you know, just like, hey, let's go here and just do, yeah. do something different. And, uh, well, you're going to put the primer on anyway, yeah, and you're going to sand it off anyway. Why not? Yeah, it up a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, and, and uh, you know, that's kind of what we want to do, just have fun. And, you know, like I said, one step at a time, and she's learning. And, yeah. So it's going to be fun. And we're just both curious to see uh, what the end result is. We know it's going to look good. Just, yeah. Uh, again, well, if the foundation is right, yeah. the, you know, it doesn't matter what color it is. So how long have you had this thing? Five years, huh? Yeah. It's a driver. Yeah. yeah. What has he got in it? I have an LS2 under the Oh, no, really? Oh, yeah. All right, you're going to have to open the hood. <laughs> really? Yeah? It's a driver. It's a driver, yeah. Well, but that's the beautiful driver. part. Okay, sure. That's yeah? yeah? Love the interior, too. Oh, hey? Hey? For, for a driver, it works beautifully. You know, you'll get to the point where, yeah, it's dusty and dirty, but look at that. There's an LS in there. <laughs> wow. It's a driver. You can drive anywhere in this thing. It's safe. Yeah. It's static or are bags? I got bags. You got bags? Yeah. Beautiful. So you've done a lot of stuff to this thing, huh? Yeah. Always something. There's always something to do. Yeah. You know, I've done cars all my life, and they're never finished. Even when they're painted and everything, it's like, oh well, now I want to do this, and now I want to do that. That's the fun, though, right? Yeah. I think it's going to be a project forever, but I'm enjoying it. Yep. Yep. Well, thanks. So we're going to go for a little tour of the shop. Yep. Again, 867 Industrial in Hollister, California. Hollister Power Sport, custom paint and body. Wow, check out that couch. Hell yeah. Let's see if we get a better shot of it over here. Yeah, that's, that's Eric's couch he painted that. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that, and my butt will go with that today at some point. <laughs> these are some of the bikes we finished. Uh, these were, I think we finished these in July. That's all you do, you know? Yeah, yep. nice little waiting area for your customers. There's nothing like a good manager up front to allow you to do your hot rod stuff in the back, you know? Yeah. Yeah, stuff doesn't sit still in this shop, no, does it? most of it's all this. It's all custom one-off stuff. So we got to get them in, get them out, and uh, keep the customers happy. And some of it does take time for them. No, that it does take time. We do have a list of people waiting. So just yeah. kind of look down our list, and sometimes we get stuff thrown at us. Yeah. Uh, I need this now, and it's always like that every day. So that's kind of where I get busy and doing all the 911 stuff. And yeah. Keep, keep Eric and Curtis busy so they don't stop the production here. So I'm kind of the guy that... Okay, I'll stop all of this. Yep. They're fully set up with all the paint stuff and all of the cool. This is a project just got dropped off the other day from another shop. That's a 62, 61. huh? 61. It's nice and clean. <laughs> well, it's not bad for a daily driver either, huh? I'm just like her. It's just, you know, work in progress. And yep. I drive it. I drive it everywhere. Uh, it's been a good truck and a lot of fun. And people 
Well, no, me, no, me, just try. Yeah, yeah. Love Bailey's. El Camino, too. Tons of bikes, so we're pretty swamped with bikes, you know. Uh, yeah, just bikes we painted in the past, we're just doing some repair work on them. Off the street customers bringing in their hardy parts and got some uh, little road rash damage and color matching on these boards of road. Uh, uh, multiple bikes on the shelf in progress. Yeah. This is a big back bike here. We're doing a candy red. It's kind of this uh, clear coat. We sanded it. Now Eric's getting ready to start uh, doing the striping and a bunch of graphics on it. And then uh, we'll clear that one, have some more flake to it. And uh, obviously, we've got more bikes here. That are just, uh, There's a, f a piece of that other one. Yeah, that's Beautiful little graphic. So yeah. a lot of people, they personalize their stuff. That's what we yep. do. Eric's good at the hardware and stuff. Uh, you know, all of them, none of them are the same. So it's, it's kind of cool. We're just constantly creating ideas. And match these to these ones. So, so you went with this from the small to the big? Yeah, so he's adding the bigger size. So uh, he was right here the other day and we kind of started teaching outlines and matching the lines. So that's what we do too, just color matching all these custom colors. Yeah. Um, Another beautiful another candy right, right there. Right, 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 again, so when you paint job, it'll be in their pavement so they don't feel it. Yep, yeah, so yeah. It gives them a little more room to get a little more, uh, I don't know how you say, want to say yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a little easier to buy a... Well, well two, it's all in-house. You buy yeah. the bike, they take it apart, we paint it, they put it together, you, you drive off turnkey. Yeah. And uh, customers are loving that, so we're, we're pretty... We're now, this is where Eric does his magic, huh? Eric's running this rig of all the artwork, all his paint striping, his airbrushing. Check uh, out this helmet piece. <laughs> we're working on an Iron Man bike for a customer, and uh, most of the bike stuff's done and delivered. We're just doing his helmet, and he's doing some highlighting and airbrushing on it. That's very cool. And so... Eric you know, can do virtually everything. He can huh? do pretty much everything. You know, this is Eric's work up here. You know, yeah. he's an awesome striper. And he just, I love his flames. He kind of reminds me of Rock Hall. Yeah. Um, you know, so we get paid to do custom stuff and play and come up with our own ideas. And it's kind of cool. You know, we just get to turn loose sometimes. And yeah. That, that's a beautiful part. You know, I mean, you know, both of us have Rod Powell history. And yeah, a lot of Rod Powell. That's really where we met, you know. Yeah, it's been, well, it's been over three years. Yeah. You know, and uh, this is another bike that Eric's working on here. But this one's probably going to do some more airbrushing and striping and clear coat. Yeah. So it's just, it's not always one bike, it's multiple bikes. So we're pretty busy. And uh, like I said, I'm lucky to have Curtis and Eric back here. They're pretty much uh, doing the bikes and stuff. And so it's just, it's, it's a go, go, go. But it's, uh, like I told you guys, let's come in, work hard. Fun. Yeah. And, and time flies here. It's just, you know, we're, we're getting work on people's dreams, and that's that's what I like. You know, it's just a good feeling when you see the bikes finish and they're happy. Yeah. Uh, that's the that's the payoff. That's the reward. You yeah. Know? So that's what we all we all have the same passion here, and uh, we're fortunate to have a good group of guys, and uh, you know, we just get to play a lot. So. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Love everything you got in the shop going here. It just, uh, you know, makes me feel the spirit, so to say. Yeah, well, we, you know, we're, we're, we're still evolving. We're changing things. Like I said, I'm moving the shop around. Yeah. Uh, we'll be putting a smaller booth right here. Which is yeah. And, uh, just for the... Just for the more cycles. If we need to get a car, we might get a small car if we need to. Yeah. But we have the big booth, so I'm trying to just make more, more space for my end. And yeah. And sell, sell that booth. Put a smaller one over here. We're still going to add more shelving up above. So uh, this thing's pretty radical. <laughs> it's, an old, it's an old car. It's, yeah. It's, it's just one of these cars that's been built probably 30 years ago. Uh, you know. Needs a little maintenance. Huh? There, yeah, it's time. You know, a little road wear. They drive it. We just time we get a little freshening up. So you know, we kind of work on it from time to time. And uh, Eric's dad comes down and works on it. And, and 
Yeah. So who do they call? They call us, Oyster Power Sports, Oyster, California. What's uh, what's the phone number? 831-637-9292. Uh, do that again. 831-637-9292. Do you have a website too or? Uh, we have a we have a website you can get on Oyster Power Sports. Oh, okay. Motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, we have a big you know website there. You can kind of scroll through, see the bikes we've done. Uh, I know they're working on a profile for Eric and I yeah. and the other guys in the shop. So you get on and you can kind of see what we've done in the past and what our background is. So uh, it's pretty cool. You know, we've got a nice showroom, uh, great mechanics back there. And the mechanics work on everything, Harley, Shamahas, dirt bikes. We work on every kind of bike. So yeah. not just strictly Indian. And uh, so it's, it's pretty nice to be uh, versatile. Beautiful. All right, Jesse, I really appreciate you taking the time, and I'll let you go back to work with me, John. Thank you, and thank everybody out there for watching. No problem. Have a good day. Thank you too. Thank you. Appreciate you guys hanging with me here at uh, Polista Power Sport with Jesse and Mija. Appreciate it. See ya.